Naomi, how can I solve some of the health problems I face? I have been the victim of enough chronic problems. Why am I having them all now, in this lifetime? All illness is self-created. Even conventional medical doctors are now seeing how people make themselves sick. People make themselves sick? Because most people move through life, unconsciously. People smoke and wonder why they get cancer. People ingest animals and fat and wonder why they get blocked arteries. People stay angry all their lives and wonder why they get heart attacks. People compete with other people and under incredible stress and wonder why they have strokes. How about worries? Worry is just about the worst form of mental activity there is, next to hate, which is deeply self-destructive. Worry is pointless. It is wasted mental energy. It also creates biochemical reactions which harm the body, producing everything from indigestion to coronary arrest, and a multitude of things in between. Health will improve almost at once when worrying ends. Worry is the activity of a mind which does not understand its connection with me. I see. How about hatred? Hate is deeply self-destructive. Hatred is the most severely damaging mental condition. It poisons the body, and its effects are virtually irreversible. Naomi, now I understand worry and hate. But why do we fear? Fear is the opposite of everything you are, and so has an effect of opposition to your mental and physical health. Fear is worry magnified. Worry, hate, fear, together with their offshoots. Anxiety, bitterness, impatience, avarice, unkindness, judgmentalness, and condemnation all attack the body at the cellular level. It is impossible to have a healthy body under these conditions. Can you tell me more about this? Thoughts affect health? Exactly. Conceit, self-indulgence, and greed lead to physical illness or lack of well-being. All illness is created first in the mind. Nothing occurs in your life, nothing, which is not first a thought. Thoughts are like magnets, drawing effects to you. The thought may not always be obvious, and the thought may be, and usually is far more subtle than that, I am not worthy to live. My life is always a mess. I am a loser. God is going to punish me. I am sick and tired of my life. Wow. Thoughts are so powerful. Thoughts are a very subtle, yet extremely powerful, form of energy. Words are less subtle, more dense. Actions are the most dense of all. Action is energy in heavy physical form, in heavy motion. When you think, say, and act out a negative concept such as, I am a loser, you place tremendous creative energy into motion. Small wonder you come down with a cold. Can we reverse the effects of negative thoughts? It is very difficult to reverse the effects of negative thinking once they have taken physical form. Not impossible, but very difficult. It takes an act of extreme faith. It requires an extraordinary belief in the positive force of the universe, whether you call that God, Goddess, First Cause, or whatever. So healer can do this? Healers have just such faith. It is a faith that crosses over into absolute knowing. They know that you are meant to be whole, complete, and perfect in this moment now. This knowingness is also a thought, and a very powerful one. It has the power to move mountains. That is why healers can heal, even at a distance.